good morning everyone. In this tutorial let's see what the EDAS keys are. The EDAS keys are commands that every user can customize with his own shortcut. So in Macro Generator we have the possibility to have a complete list of these commands. The light blue rows represent EDAS commands that do not have assigned shortcuts. The dark blue lines are the EDAS commands that have an assigned shortcut. Let's create a macro that enables and disables the proxy mode. Once the macro is created, let's see its effect. Look at this below how proxy mode is enabled and disabled. Now let's create another macro. This time enabling and disabling the zebra mode. Analyzing the line, we can see that with respect to the previous macro the line is light blue. This means that in EDAS this command is not assigned to any shortcut. Now assign this command to a EDAS shortcut. Click on the Find button, Macro Generator opens the EDAS key assignment window. And we can see that the key is not assigned to any shortcut. We now assign a shortcut to the EDAS command. We click on refresh, in this way we tell macro generator that it has to reread the EDAS keyboard assignments. Now we see that there is a check on the assignment, it means that the command has been assigned, no matter which key. Now we have created a new macro that enables and disables the zebra in EDAS. In these two macros we have how to create macros with keys. What is an key? Is a command that EDAS makes available to users to be assigned to a shortcut and then with macro generator can create the macro. Now let's create another macro that creates a new sequence. Once the macro is created, let's try it. We see that it creates a new sequence. Thanks for the attention.